What are you complaining about? You have a place to live. You have running water. Yes, you may not eat the best food. You may not drive the best car. But you can walk, you can speak. You particularly don't really live in a disease infested place. But yet you complain. I have an opportunity to speak to someone that lives in a third world country and it is really shocking what some people have to go through in life. The many things that we may take for granted, I believe some people in some areas of this world they may have to work hard for something that we get very easily. Have you ever slept while or tried to sleep while being bit by mosquitoes? Have you ever lived with no electricity? Have you ever had to walk a very far way to get water that may not even be clean? I believe in many places in America, if we go to the bathroom, we can twist a knob or whatever and water will come out. We can go to the toilet. Like we don't have to, I think many of us don't have to use the bathroom outside or in a bucket and dig a hole or dump it outside. Like what are you complaining about? Yes. You may not be rich. You may not be as rich as Bill Gates or Lil Wayne, or you may not have very good clothes to wear. But be thankful, even if you believe you have little, be thankful for what you do have. Because how would you fare if you were to live in a third world country? I think many of those people don't eat every day. So can you go without food for a week, three days, or something like that? How would you like being so poor to where the water you may use is not all the way clean. Can you imagine bathing in dirty water? Can you imagine being so worried that you are going to run out of food or like living so poor, I believe in America. I think the poor here, I think much of the poor here, it's not really poor if you compare it to a third world country, in my opinion. So what are you complaining about? You may even have nice clothes to wear, but if you are inconvenienced by 
something small. You may have food to eat, but if you had to eat some food that you did not want, you may complain about that. Be thankful for the little things in life as you see little. Because I think the things you may take for granted, some people may not even have. I believe there are people that are middle class that may believe their life is so horrible when they may have more than the average person. What if what you have were taken away from you? I think some people have it in their mind what they go through, nothing worse can happen. I believe things can always get worse. Be thankful to God of what you have. Yes, you can ask God for more, I believe. But don't get into the habit, I guess I can say, of complaining. If you look at, if you look in the Old Testament, I believe God punished the nation of Israel, or should I say the children of Israel, for complaining. So what do you believe is going to happen to you, especially if you live in America or somewhere where you not, you aren't really living in a very poor way? Like, be thankful to God for what you have. Myself, you know, I may, you know, every so often, you know, may get irritated or angry or whatever. But I think for the most part, I appreciate very small things. Um, There was a time to where I would take an hour to thank God for what I have. So I would thank God for an hour most of the time, it was an hour, but somewhere around 40 minutes to an hour, around there, and then I would get to my other part of prayer. And there was, or there is a person, I pray with that person now, but we used to thank God for like 40 minutes, half hour, an hour. I believe at first, around that time period, I guess, we would thank God for an hour. Like myself, and I think that is a very good practice. Like really think about your life and look at the good that is happening to you. I believe if you take time and give God thanks for an hour, I think you will see that there is so much God has done in your life. I believe even for people that are in sin, I believe God does so much good for us. But I think that many people, I believe they have a mentality or a habit in recognizing the bad things that are happening in their life more than the good. Like so much good can happen to you, but if you were to stub your toe or get into a car accident or get sick or lose $100, I believe some people may see the negative more than the positive as if like it is expected for good to happen to you. So when bad happens to you, 
like you may feel like you know this should not happen if you understand what I am trying to tell you be thankful for the small things be appreciative don't be one of those you know <laughs> I think there are some children out there and I think it is not good to give a child everything that child wants because I believe if you spoil a child, I think that will do more harm than good. But I believe there are some children out there, you can give them so much, but if you want them to do something they don't want to do, and if you don't discipline your children much, that child may throw a fit or act in a way that they should not like with an attitude or something like that. So learn to appreciate the small things in your life. For instance, God, thank you for me being able to speak, being able to walk, hear, see, taste, being able to move around and work. God, I thank you for a car. Yes, my car may have so much rust on it. It may not be a Mercedes Benz. It may not be a Rolls Royce may not be <laughs> a Camry, you know, but God, I thank you for the car I have because I think it is better than walking everywhere or taking the bus. God, I thank you for saving me from so many car accidents. I thank you for a place to sleep. I thank you for a home. I thank you for the bathroom. Thank you for running water, electricity, a laptop. God, I thank you for a heater, my hat, <laughs> my neck gaiter. God, I thank you for clothes. I may not wear very fashionable clothes, you know, I may not be wearing Gucci or boss suits or whatever else like that. But God, I thank you for clothes. You know, the place I live may not be a mansion, you know. I may not have my own personal gym, huh? But God, I thank you for what I do have. I thank you for having some money. I thank you that I can eat. Yes, I may not be eating steak and eggs and, well, steak and whatever every day or whatever like that. I may not be eating very fancy food. I don't like fish, though. But, God, I thank you for what I do eat. I thank you for the rice, yes. <laughs> I thank you for the ground beef. I thank you for the asparagus. I thank you for what I do have. I thank you for mom and dad. You know, go on and on. The things you may see as little or insignificant, give God thanks for it. I believe if you get into a habit in doing that, like constantly do it, I believe you will be able to appreciate more in life other than seeing something bad and allowing that to ruin your whole day or 
allowing it to depress you for a very long time and believing your life is so horrible, even when you may have more than a person that lives in a third world country. Maybe the thing that may change you is for you to live in a very poor area and let you stay there for five years and let you come back to where you are at now, man, I think you would appreciate where you are now so much. So give God thanks. Let me stop here. God bless you.